Isn't that like the greatest stuff ever? Hear that? Yeah. I like that. That's satisfactory. That's the look here. Rips the whole entire system off the table. <laughs> <laughs> Got to remember to take these off for you to walk away. Yeah. <laughs> you, just, you just drag the, all of the mics off. <laughs> Jay Manaberry, everybody. <laughs> Jay Manaberry. Dude. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. That's okay. better. That's better. Yeah. Can, yeah. I can hear loud and clear. We're good. Yeah, sounds good. I feel like I've lost a lot of items since yesterday. It's good to have Jay up here finally. We love Jay. We're going to start a timer because uh, these cameras like to time out. And unfortunately, that screws up our whole entire flow. <clears throat> I think I've lost my voice a little bit since yesterday. <clears throat> yeah, dude. And we didn't even, we were just getting warmed up. Mm -hmm. Now we got our feature presentation. Oh, where? Jay Manaberry. Yeah, right. Jay, just, you've, you've been up to New HQ a couple times, right? Yeah, a yeah. few times. Every time it changes, it's still a work in progress. One of these days, we're going to finally put out like a full tour of the place. Yeah. There's so much room that I think it takes time to, to like lay it out properly and how you want it. But you yeah. guys have such a cool setup that I think it'll be pretty killer, whatever you do. It was just a weird time to build a new office. It yeah. was like we were all hyped and it was like May of, no, it was like February 2020. Before everything just oh, shit at the fan. right before. Yeah. yeah, and we're all hyped. We're like, yeah, we got this new place. And then COVID and everything yeah. happened. And all of a sudden, we're working from home. And this place was continuously being built. And right. we couldn't work there. So right. it was just like insult to injury. And now we're finally, in the last couple months, phasing back in here and yeah, building things like the yeah. studio. This is like top tier, too, you know. Like, yeah. And to see where 509 started, at least with our relationship, and now right. where it's at is... It's impressive. Yeah, it's cool. It's because cool. we've seen that. <laughs> we've seen that. So we've seen part of the evolution for sure. All of us have, we which should, has been hilarious. We should do a tour of the old place oh before we show this place. Yeah, yeah. We should. That place is a dump. The, yeah, that was <laughs> a dump. Got, to, got the do job done, though. Do a before and after, a glow up. Yeah. Yeah. The problem with a place like this, though, too, is about if you, you, like, right now, you could be like, let's just say it was like, the 10 more percent done and it was like ready to go for a tour. But then there's like, Oh no, we're going to do this next. We should wait until we get that done. And then yeah. that's like a whole like six, eight months out. Yeah. Right. Like there's a lot of stuff that's already internally discussed that you have to like plan way ahead for. I just want with this huge open space over here. I just yeah. want a mini ramp for just a lot. Yeah. Liability, loud, Dude, obnoxious. <laughs> I think on both sides of the podcast desk, it should just be a mini ramp. We're in the middle of a mini ramp? Yeah, and we just can slide the desk in and out. That'd be cool. How about a trampoline? <laughs> <laughs> Jay, yeah. What are you, you got a little... Uh, nice, nice face. Yeah. A little flesh wound there. A little strawberry on my nose. What'd you do? Being a professional athlete, I, this isn't your proudest moment, I'd imagine. Well, I was training. I was on a, <laughs> on a ba uh, tramp doing backflips. Cause I'm going to do one on a sled, right? <laughs> I was training. So did two is pretty successful. And then I don't know what happened on the third one and launched, launched me into the freaking springs and the edge and like burnt, burnt this bridge right here. So I, I <laughs> burnt a bridge. Did you just, you slid across the edge of the trampoline into the springs with your face? Like, were you stuck between? No, the I wasn't trampoline stuck. And, it's, it was so quick too. like backflip. <laughs> to knees, to face grind, and I ended up on my ass on the ground. And I was So like, there was no net around it or anything? No net. Yeah. Just rocks. Like, it was at my buddy's house. He has two kids, but they just, just built. Rocks. Yeah, so it's like not landscape or anything and just crude, rude ground, and yeah. I ended up on my ass. He goes. Bleeding he face. <laughs> He goes, I got in a trampoline wreck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like an incident yeah, occurred. Like a, <laughs> it was, man. He had a head-on collision with a trampoline. It was uh, like a you, murder scene. Was like, it the dripping down your face oh, and yeah. everything? And yeah. my nose was bloody. Oh, man. Damn. Yeah. You're looking better, It though. didn't hurt, though. It was so weird, but pretty good Pretty good at a road rash. How Hopefully. do the goggles feel on it? They don't touch. Nice. It's it's fine. Yeah, yeah. lucky. Lucky. Yeah. That'd be a bummer. Can't wear goggles because of a trampoline incident. <laughs> You're going to need goggles later for a yeah. moto ride. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fine. First ride of the year. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 
Just preseason Actually, my bike. Yeah, we know it was your first ride by how your bike showed up at my shop last night. Well, it was kind of genius on my part, bring my bike to you. Dude, the best part was Jay comes in, gets his bike. I, I tell him, bring your, bring your dirt scooter. We're going to ride. Okay. Gets there. And he's like checking things, and I, I'm like, man, does he have like tubeless or like a moose bib in the rear <laughs> no, tire? You, you thought it was my I bike. Thought it was Ross's. I'm like, this, he's got a nice soft tire on this. Chase starts checking pressure. He's like, goes through two of my tire gauges and says, none of these work. They're just reading zero. <laughs> and I'm like, Jay, I think you have flat tires, <laughs> completely flat, zero psi. That's long cold winter, man. <laughs> you, you would have written it like that too today. And I would have, have whooped your ass, Ross. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll show you Iron Man. Yeah, you just spanked me. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's funny how we neglect those things. Yeah, Yet you have how many snowmobiles and you take care of those and you got this one dirt bike and just back burner. Well, dude, after months and months of wrenching and maintaining sleds, I, uh, it gets a little jading jade. yeah. i get jaded like working on stuff at least for a little bit yeah. yeah you know around end of march april i kind of just after racing's done i'm just like all right yeah no thinking about it don't want to like kind of get lazy honestly yeah. but it's a grind through like september till it never really ends but you know how like the winter months are you both know so it's taxing but yeah. Yeah. So, especially racing, you you have to yeah. like, especially racing, you have to <laughs> just you just have to totally run like twenty four <laughs> parts to make sure you're dialed in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why did you hear me say racing off the rip? Racing. It was like Irish, and then went to racing, Australian racing on. Yeah. So but, what? What's the question? No, it's just like gonna comment on the fact that you have to put you have to change a lot of parts and tests and like all this stuff like to the at. The average person, that's, you have no idea how much, like, testing and, like, oh, dude, it's so, ugh. Yeah. I, I just I don't test envy my, that part I just, all. like, test my belt all season by not changing it. <laughs> Zero maintenance Dur program. Durability yeah. testing. Yeah, that's my end goal. The engineers told me I couldn't blow a belt. Challenge accepted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you at least set the deflection? Oh, yeah, yeah. Good. I stay on top of that, yeah. yeah. I, I, but like, if I start, like, losing a lot of RPMs, I just take weight out of the clutch to make up for oh, it. Oh, no. Instead of putting a new belt on. <laughs> yeah. It. Just start drilling holes in the clutch. <laughs> just keep shaving weight <laughs> out of the clutch. Free flash northwest, lightweight, <laughs> rotating kit. Yeah. They said... <laughs> they said take weight out, so we just got a yeah. whole saw. <laughs> oh, so. Blaine is good at that. Yeah, yeah, do you ever seen his mods? Yeah. I've seen the he'll, holes and everything. He'll like get it all nice and pretty and perfect and then be like, this thing needs more airflow. <laughs> Grabs a two-inch hole saw, fresh Makita battery, and just... <laughs> <laughs> What do you think of that? Yeah. It's just a carcass of a snowmobile. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, he loves the he loves the hole saw. He loves the drill. Yeah, I yeah. I mean respect it. The outcome is worth it when you get heat out and all yeah. that. Those mods are nasty. Yeah. Yeah. I still haven't ridden one. You ever ridden like a full rimshaw race mod? No. No? no. Dude, we gotta get you guys on it. It's ranked. Yeah. They're all ranked. Like even the Polaris's, the cats. Those mods are like, rowdy. Some of the <laughs> Some of the fastest and well running, well suspended snowmobiles yeah. in the in the industry, I would argue. Oh, yeah, for sure. Fine. You I mean, you roll up to Jackson on Saturday and you're like, Yeah, oh my gosh. And then there's some, you know, like you you're on the program, like you yeah. have the Skidoo support, so you get like your stuff is nasty. It's now that sick. the OEMs have been uh having input and in, like building custom parts and mod sleds for hill climbing it's got it's evolved tenfold with like what the technology is mm -hmm. and yeah it's super cool when you have like brp and polaris putting forth a big budget yeah. and a lot of smart minds you get some badass mm -hmm. sleds i know everybody it doesn't actually matter in the grand scheme of things it's like more of the power delivery but everybody still loves hearing like horsepower numbers right yeah those mods i mean what do you think they're turning um, probably see the engineers won't tell us like numbers, yeah. but if we had to guess probably 230, yeah. 220, 230, that's cooking. which they could be more for sure. But if you can't ride it, it's yeah. not fast, right? It's mm -hmm. so there's a fine line of rideable power and, you know, too much power. Yeah. So 
Yeah, you've you've dabbled with a little bit of everything. I mean, I remember you used to try or used to try <laughs> tried snowcross. Yeah, that was cool though. Cool experience. For like, sure. Totally just different. Yeah, growing up in the West, riding mountains your whole life. Like, yeah, I'm glad I did it. Um, I obviously like to jump, and yeah, so that was what really drew me. And I like to race. I'm competitive, so I'm like, I'm gonna try that. But it was way harder than it looked, and yeah what I made it out to be even mm-hmm. with like I trained my hardest that pre season. Yeah, I remember when I Jay was, like went to the gym, dude, dude I Jay was just, like, fitness doing, up. doing hours, not hours, but like an hour on the rower yeah. and a bunch of other, uh, you know, lifts and, and whatnot, not lifts, but yeah, not Caleb lifts, but the, uh, Jay Manaberry water cross career is my favorite though. <laughs> <laughs> not a water cross racer no. at all. Because it doesn't act like a snowmobile at all. No. Like, it's yeah. completely different. Yeah. So it was foreign. Yeah. I think we should revisit that, though. Dude, don't put me on water ever. No, Jay. He, yeah. Redemption. Yeah, Why? he can go back. I, I actually would like redemption. Yeah. Maybe not in a racing scenario right away. That was the thing. Like, yeah. I was totally green and lining up against guys that do it every weekend. So I couldn't really, like, Go at my own pace I don't know that that Scottish guy Stephen Clark. Yeah, he, <laughs> he got lucky. You. He beat you. He went straight. Have you heard about this, Ross? No, we didn't. So, so, nah. <laughs> nah. There's two sides <laughs> to the story. <laughs> no, he raced laps. He did. Yeah, the mechanics race. I was probably trying to the like mechanics <laughs> race. <too. laughs> so okay, <laughs> in watercross at this one event every single year they do the mechanics race. Okay, and it's only like two or three laps they have to run. And Stephen Clark, we got to get him on. He's just a yeah, gem of a human. He is. He's a Scottish filmer. He's the, the Scottish best. part doesn't really matter. But he's the best but, Scottish snowmobiler alive. Because we don't know another. Yeah. yeah. Never and we've him. all had great times with him. He came to film this webisode with Jay and, geez, I don't know, six years ago now probably. Yeah. Like, racing watercross. Uh, seven. Yeah, no, that was a yeah, while ago. 15, 16. Mm-hmm. Jay sunk every race. Uh uh-uh. uh, he survived the first a one. Uh-uh. I did pretty well, but then it all went downhill. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so like, Steven's filming it. Steven's like mechanics race. <laughs> yeah, I'll try. Yeah, Steven goes out there, wins the mechanics race. <laughs> oh my gosh! And he comes up to Jay, and Jay's like kind of heated, and he goes, "Jay, you're a hell of a racer, hell of a backcountry rider, but you're a horrible watercross racer." <laughs> I think he called me a one-trick pony. <laughs> I can and see that, that hurt. Yeah, that does hurt. That does hurt. The f- Dude, we have some we have some ruthless uh, photographers and filmers in the industry, yeah. honestly. I saw Todd Williams mm-hmm. oh, at, he can at be Jackson, and he goes, hey, yeah, dude, he goes, hey, Ross, why don't you post another hop-over video? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wow, that hurt. <laughs> and then we get on the gondola, and I have this, like, vintage Lynx snowmobile hat that's, like, like I'm pretty proud of that I found on eBay. And he goes, we get in the gondola. And he goes, I'm going to have that hat by the time we get to the top of this. I'm like, oh my God, we're going to get in a fist fight at the gondola in Jackson over this hat. <laughs> I, I asked if he could send me some photos, right? Yeah. Love the guy. Yeah. Legend. Phenomenal photographer. And he's like, yeah, no problem. And he sends me like 20 selects over. And I haven't asked him if it was a joke. He sends me a $7,000 invoice. <laughs> no <laughs> way. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm like, Tom, we don't, we don't have budget for this right now. He's going to listen to this and be like, yeah, no, that was a real invoice, David. <laughs> Turning you into collections. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. It's so funny, man. He knows his worth, I guess. He mm-hmm. kills it. It's, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that dude's a legend. He shot like... T. Willie. Everything you ever see almost in the last 10, 15 years for big advertisements, yeah. Yeah. launches, whatever. Dude kicks ass. Yeah, he kills it. It's, it's, it's cool to see, for sure. Yeah. So... Dude, uh, so at Jackson, things were, they're always very competitive, but yeah. people were like, I'm trying to get out of it now. People were like, Ross, you should race Jackson. And mm-hmm. I was looking at the timing and I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Dude, it's it's like everybody is, the top five guys are within like a tenth of a second on qualifying. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's, it's st- tough. Stupid competitive. Like, well, not even that. Then the course. the Yeah. And the course is gnarly and it's just like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Like if I think. You know, Jackson's great because there's a lot of, there's like the most spectating opportunity there. To be at the top, you're like, there's so much more respect for like 
the boys and you're mm-hmm. like, it's so fun. I have so much fun just going and watching. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Go ahead. Now go ahead, Jay. I was just off his point of all the people in the vibe and especially you guys, like people that are involved in the industry and friends of mine and just friends, like everyone's just a big family yeah. there and like having a good time. And there's also really good action. So it's such a cool event. I'm glad you guys come and are stoked on it for sure. I kind of liked the new hill. Yeah. It was different. I did too. It was, let me tell you from a firsthand perspective, it was still very challenging. Not mm-hmm. quite as steep as the other one, but definitely not easy. Um, There's a lot more landmines this year. Oh my gosh, yeah. dude. Gnarly. Like, like stumps. Stumps <laughs> and like uh, slash piles, I yeah. guess you could yeah. call them. And yeah. like, I remember going up on finals day, hauling ass through this somewhat straight section, and there's logs sticking out at me, like pointing yeah. Yeah. towards you. And you're like, oh, God, I hope I don't yeah. spear a track. Well, after I walked the track coming down that night, I was surprised how many people really didn't have severe issues. Yeah. yeah. Some of that stuff was like punch a, he- like a hole through your bulkhead. Yeah, yeah. for sure. And there's just like bulkhead smashers, like rocks, <laughs> just like this big, like literally like six inches off the edge of like the, the like main line. Yeah. And it's like, if you're like later in the day trying to find a new line or speed, you're like, might smoke one of those. Yeah. And the fact we can't walk it is well, they don't let you guys. No, oh. you can walk down the, on the one side of the fence, the spectator yeah. fence. So you can like kind of see some stuff, but. That's kind of a just going blind. Yeah, but it's almost a might be a blessing in disguise because if you knew exactly yeah. everything that was there, yeah, you might tend to overthink mm-hmm. more than is already. Yeah, you natural. got enough things going through your head. You yeah. might not go through the twenty third gate wide open because <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. Did yeah, dude, it is gnarly. Yeah, yeah, you should. Moral, guys, you should race it next year, Ross. Oh, you should try it. I know I should go over it. I mm-hmm. should try it. It's worth a shot. Yeah. Dude, you should do the vintage class or the yeah. old timer yeah. one. Yeah. The, on a I mean, did that guy fold the tunnel in half? For sure. Yeah. Like, split Just the snowmobile in two. Launched the catwalk. Yeah. I don't know what happened. Got a little whiskey throttle or yeah. something and went straight up and down. Just and got cremated. Yeah. <laughs> Just it was like folded. <laughs> tunnel delete. <kit. laughs> soft serve freaking soft shell taco to it, dude. Hit, Just hit that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he Just, you just drop in and just smack the lip. <laughs> 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 yeah, I wish we could show you guys. <laughs> dude, it was gold. Oh, it was so good. Dave yeah. and I were standing next to each other like, oh my God. Yeah. We're concerned. That, that one was concerned. Yeah, that one was bad. Yeah. That was bad. Some of those old tube chassis are rad to see, though. So cool. Those guys are still running that old iron up there. Yeah. The stuff that we grew up just drooling over. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Like, I love mod sleds. Have always loved mod sleds. So seeing those, like, in present day is so nostalgic for me. It, yeah. it lifts me up. It's cool. Yeah. yeah. I, I want to find one and own one. And yeah. Either restore it or build it or whatever. You know, I think that's, I think we should all get... Get one and do some vintage rides. and Should be a vintage pro oh, class yeah. at Jackson. Yeah. Ooh, any listeners should send us some links. If you got any good garage finds, yeah. barn yeah. finds, sleds. Seriously, yeah. even like parts, motors, chassis, I'm, I'm going to need mine from uh, Europe, so it's going to uh, get expensive. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I got to import. An OG links. An OG yeah. links. Yeah. I saw this video going around. This dealer had like a 96 Polaris XLT. That had zero miles on it. Still had the little label around the fuel tank, the little rip-off one, all mm. the stickers, and the, like the plastic film on the windshield. Whoa. Wow. I think it was for sale for like 17 grand or something like that. Jeez. Oh. Which, I believe that. at that yeah. point, I'm like, that's kind of worth it yeah. to oh, the yeah. right person. For sure. Mm-hmm. I've always wondered if sleds ever get to that point. Is there going to be one that's like a collector's item in the future? You know, like finding a mint old Mustang in a barn, you know? Yeah. Are I we ever going to get to that? I think so. To a certain extent. Not yeah. quite the prices of, you know, classic cars and stuff, but yeah. you know how passionate sledders are. So if there's a model or a, a certain sled that is exclusive and yeah. people, you know, people want it, I definitely. I've always thought it'd be cool to have eventually, you know, find those, sleds that were pivotal moments in snowmobiling 
like chassis yeah. like the first year that this changed the game and then yeah. this changed the game and have like on display in a shop mm-hmm. like they're just every whatever manufacturer it is you know right. something that like right totally changed the sled world yeah for sure that'd be really that'd be really cool <clears throat> maybe, and I, maybe I think when we retire yeah 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 we don't have money for that right now <laughs> yeah yeah well, there's like, what's funny is too, you see it in the car, the car world is changing like drastically right, right now. And like eventually power sports will change as well. It's like, there's not really going to be any, I don't feel like there's going to be any more like classics like to buy like that are like, right. Like you can go buy like an old pickup right now and it's a classic, but right. like a 2020 Ford F-150 is never, I don't think it's ever going to be a classic so many unless, yeah, yeah. Unle- in a hundred years if it has like 200 miles on it and it's yeah. mint, yes. But it's like this, it, I feel like it's this weird stage, especially with everything going electric and like everybody going to yeah. like V6s, like the old big V8 days are done. So like if you if you got it and you can get it and it's cool and like old, it's going to be cool forever. And you're never going to lose money on it. Yeah. Because it's going away so fast. I lose sleep on things like that. Like what... If I can, if I knew what I should buy and hold on to, oh yeah, yeah, like I'd, yeah, I'd, like, God, I'd beat myself up over Bitcoin constantly. I do too. Dude. <laughs> I do too. A few coins <laughs> and land. Yeah, yeah. There's some things like, for sure. Oh, if, yeah, if we, I could turn could back time and, right now. Oh, easy. Oh yeah. If you, Just if you two years. Mm-hmm. In two years, yeah. I mean, I'm sure everyone listening in their area, th- the same things happened because it's pretty widespread, but. Yeah. Where I'm from in Wyoming, Star Valley. Brutal. Dude, I'm so glad I bought when I did. Otherwise, I'd be. Yeah. I don't you should have bought another 30 acres, though, right? Seriously. One of those yeah. yeah. Classic. Yeah. But yeah. such is life. Mm-hmm. And it, the funny part is when you do, when you did it, you were probably like, oh, God, I hope this works out. <laughs> yeah. And now you're like, dang, I should have tripled down on it. Yeah. 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 So many things like that. I'm slowly developing. You ever watch Whistling Diesel? Here and there. I'm developing a slight obsession with Toyota Hiluxes. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, I don't even know anything really about them. Honestly, just his videos, the fact that I understand they're fairly rare. Yeah. And that you can't get them without importing them. And they're rad little trucks. And I'm like, I think I kind of want one of those. Yeah. I have no other knowledge on them at mm-hmm. all. But it's one of those things that another 20, 30 years from now, you're sitting on a gold mine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think Ross and I have that gold mine with our Ford Rangers. Oh, yeah. Straight up, dude. I got to get on that. Yeah. I love mine, man. I love mine, too. Throw a sled Wait. in it and just go shit box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, dude, remember we were in your neck of the woods, and he pulls up, and we're at this house, and he just hits the garbage can and knocks it over. Like the big, like, like the ones that garbage Completely on purpose. Yeah, he just, <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah, it was so funny. <laughs> Got to make um, an entrance with the... You kind of inspired me on the Ranger, honestly, and then I started looking and found one, but... Yours is sick, an 88? 88. What year's yours? 98. Yeah. Four-wheel... Yeah, four-wheel drive. What, what motor? Uh, two nine V six. Huh. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's, it's still, it's old for sure. Like it's, yeah. yeah you know, I mean, like, mine's old and it's 10 years newer. Yeah. But. but it's crazy because I think like that truck especially got kicked around quite a bit. Like it, a lot of those trucks became ranch trucks and became, like yeah. you, you gave that to your, your high school boy and he drove it until it literally folded in half. So to find one that's like pretty good is it's very and, rare. Yeah. And it's, the last year, the body style with like the old like standard f- square headlights yep. and yeah, I um, like that. That's yeah. How if you don't mind me asking, how much did you pay for, for that? Forty nine hundred. Wow. You stole it. I stole it. Yeah. And it it says on the title one hundred and seventy six thousand miles, but you look at it and everybody that's seen it is like, there's no way there's that many on it. I yeah. think it has sixty seven thousand on it, and somewhere between changing hands, somebody was like, oh, it has to have a hundred thousand on it. It's an eighty eight. Right, yeah. but like you look at the like the brake pedal, and it's like still ha- it's not smooth. Like huh. there's no rips in the upholstery, and oh. like it's straight, same motor and everything. So that's dope, dude. Yeah, I need a summer truck. You do, yeah, dude. They're so beater. sick for yeah. hunting, for just just anything. cruising a town. Yeah, just yeah, cruising. yeah, I don't need Grocery to drive getter. a twenty five hundred diesel every day. No, no. something you can it's throw your pain in the ass. Something throw your moto in the back, easy go. to yeah. park. Like, yeah. Real, I mean, not cheap to fill up anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Cheaper than it. Yeah. Still not cheap, yeah. Doesn't matter what you own. Tank of diesel. Yeah, that thing will get you. Yeah, it's fun. 
Yeah. We're in that we're in that crappy in between season now. We're like still have the sled deck in. Yeah, it's like we're gonna ride still, but you're doing more moto. Yeah, and I'm that guy that just that asshole showing up with his bike on the sled deck. And it's such a pain. It yeah. is. It's sketchy, too. Yeah. It is. You got to have your system dialed. I need a yeah. Ford Ranger. Yeah. yeah. We had two on the deck coming home from the race on Sunday, and it, we were just like, hey. It was like a, like just sails going down the highway, like because yeah. they were just hard to tie down up there without having, like, chalks and all this stuff, yeah. and we didn't, obviously. No, of course not. No. <laughs> Loose program. Running gun. Running yeah. Gun. yeah. Just, just like keep an eye on it, Ross. Yeah. Just David's, like, the biggest backseat driver ever. <laughs> Dude, it's crazy. He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's like, bump, bump. <laughs> or like, he'll be like, you're going to turn left up here. And then like, he'll be like, oh, right here, right here, right here, right here. I'm like, yeah, I know, bro. I just want to make sure we get to our <laughs> Dude, destination. He, you will always get there with yeah. David. I'm not a bad trait. Yeah. yeah. I always, you are always driving with me. So mm-hmm. I'm, yeah, when it's the opposite, he makes sure you get where you're going, dog. Well, good. I love those road trips, though. I miss the Canada road trips. Yeah, I know. We need we some to good times bring in BC. that back. We had some good times in BC. <laughs> Are you going to come? You got to come. Yeah, I'll come. Okay. I was like, those ones, I wasn't quite in the like film family yet. I was still so connected to Colorado that I wasn't in the like. Well, I'm sure you were busy. As yeah, that was too. the problem. That was the problem. I just couldn't get away for it. So, but yeah. I would, cause I wasn't in a film until like 10. Volume was 10. that your You're, first one? Was Sane and was, Ryan. Was Dan in there too? With you? Dan was with us, yeah, yeah. that day. Is that yeah, the yeah. one where you absolutely implode the gas tank? Yeah. On the stump. On yeah. the stump. Yeah. Now I, sh- dude, I, shoved, I shoved the steering post through, like it broke the overstructure, and it shoved it through the turbo intercooler and then broke off the injector, the auxiliary injector. So like we had to, all, it, I would run as long as I didn't get into the auxiliary injectors. Hmm. On those old like turbos. Wow. Yeah. So like four thousand. Yeah. So I just brr, just cruised it and it it ran. Yeah. We've got better at not breaking so much stuff. Yeah. Yeah. We used to be pretty good at it. What do you think is the attribution to that? Like seat time for sure. Seat, like experience or just being older and slower and yeah less risk. <laughs> Yeah, I think part we of might be getting smarter. That, yeah. yeah, that's what we'll chalk it up. To. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I don't know. It's probably just comes with age too. I used to bend a lot of a arms. Yeah, I uh, remember you doing. It. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I, you have gotten so much better at riding. I think that's well because of you guys. This is the reality well, of it. You didn't really have a choice. No, but you no. stuck through it. You didn't want me for a while. No, we still wanted you, but I don't know. I I know every single one me. of you has a day with me that you were like, we should get rid of this guy. <laughs> For sure. But here you are. Here you are. The silence just tells me that <laughs> that's the case. We'll table that one. Well, I think I was the first one with you. I was like, your first like kind of official 509-like yeah. thing was with me and Brant. And yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was... We're going to talk... We'll... That's a whole story. Like, that's a whole day. Yeah, for sure. But I don't, yeah. I, you just don't want to be the guy that slows people down. And yeah, there was a lot of still slowing people down. You know what's funny is, like, I had a buddy text me the other day. And I, we, it feels like we always used to run, like, aftermarket <laughs> bumpers and stuff. And, oh, like, yeah. He's like, what, what bumper do you run? I'm just like, the stock one? I used to bend a lot of bumpers and stuff, but now I don't. I think that was... I think it is, we've gotten better, smarter, more calculated filming. Like, I think part of it too is like you get kind of used to filming. So you are, I have my days where I don't execute anything. Like I really struggle, Mm -hmm. whatever, but we all do. But then like, we're just better at like getting shots. Yeah. Too. For sure. It's more like a, oh yeah, that's, there's a 85% chance we get this shot instead of a 40% chance. And when you're young and just ready to go, you're like, well, it's going to be worth it. Yeah. Then you rip a whole side of a sled off. And having a plan B and C for the specific maneuver. Yeah. Like just from doing it in the past, you can like kind of imagine. Age of things. Yeah. I'll be like, okay, so if it doesn't work here, then I can bail here and it'll, yeah. everything will still be fine instead of just hitting it raw, yeah. wide open. Yeah. No plan. 
Jay, uh, Jay can get moody though. Why? If things aren't going Jay's way one day. What? You'll fall into this little dark hole. <laughs> I'm passionate. Yeah. You, but sometimes, I, dude, I will too. Yeah. I, I, yeah. yeah. I just get quiet, and I, I'm either thinking about like doing something or trying something again, or yeah, I get <laughs> hangry. Need a snack. Hangry. <laughs> I'll give it to you guys though, because everything's fighting us always. Yeah, Mother Nature, everything, and laughing. no matter what, you guys do give a hundred percent if the conditions allow. Because I think we know we're all out there. We all put the time aside to do it. We're investing in this, and like sometimes you got to deal with the punches. And Mother yeah. Nature is so unpredictable, yeah, for sure. And it's a roller coaster this winter, especially, dude. Oh. This one was brutal. Yeah. Probably the worst I've ever experienced or that yeah. I can remember. Yeah. It was gnarly. It was Crazy. tough. It's like, well, what's funny about it too on the filming side of things is I've been around, I've been like around some like snowboard and like mountain bike and other sport bigger shoots. And for us, it's like, all right, we have three days. We have to shoot an entire segment. Yeah. Go. Mm-hmm. And you're like, the snow's like garbage right and we're like well we gotta like this is all we have and we have three days and we go 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 like some of those programs are quite different they're like waiting on sun and building jumps like but you know they're obviously creating films that take two years to produce and stuff like that and it's a totally different ginormous industry but it is funny like i i sometimes watch that where i'm like oh dude that would be nice we could just kind of chill on that for a second the flip side of that is i've worked with filmers who come from that industry and they're like, we, we kill it on a day on a sled or like even on the moto the other day with a buddy, we killed it. And he, they're like, dude, we got like 40 shots today. Yeah. If we were on skis, we would have gotten one. Yeah. If we were mountain biking, we would have gotten like two good clips. So when it's good, it's good. But when it's tough, you're just grinding yeah. and just forcing things. And then that's when you get a little, like you kind of get moody. Cause you're like, yeah, Oh you, God, it's, Nothing against anyone in the crew. It's just like, man, I wanted this to work out, yeah. and it, yeah. everything's against you. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, we fought it this season. We were going to come back and film another webisode, and God. it was like high pressure for a month and a half. Didn't yeah. snow. Yeah. I remember Cold I came back down there. We filmed that in January, and I came back down in March, and it hadn't snowed. There was less snow. Yeah, it just got warm. Yeah. But nobody, that's a... I know that's what's kind of fun to talk about is like nobody really realizes that side of it. I'll get people like, why don't you put out some more stuff? I'm like, dude, we can only do We'd so much to. what Mother Nature allows. Yeah. yeah. It's just not safe for you guys. Well, that too. Like, you had Abby, a close call this year with what? With low snowpack. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I, that was uh, pretty lucky. I mean, <laughs> landing on a rock yeah. on yeah. my side. I should have known better, but it was like, it was n- novel for me because that time of year in that zone, there's always deep snow, always good. And I guess I just got complacent and was like, oh, it looks good. Yeah. Yeah. Not, that was when I was like, holy shit, this snowpack is bad. We are down. We're bad. Down. <laughs> yeah. And that was like the day before I came to film. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. And so that kind of like put a damper on. Yeah. You know, for we're like, sure. All right, we're just going to ride trees because yeah. this isn't worth it. Yeah. Yeah. And safety first, boys and girls. For sure. Because you get hurt and you're not, you're not riding. Yeah. You're not. It's your and career. Then it affects everything else in your life. Right. Yeah. Like, right. So you have other, you have other projects lined up. And yeah. Heaven forbid Jordy has to take care of you all the time. She'd get so over me. <laughs> <laughs> she already deals with enough. Yeah. Yeah. Bless her heart. Bless her heart. Love you, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we had the April storm. You got the April storm, right? Yeah. Yeah, the April storm literally saved my life. It brought me internal pain after chasing you guys around all winter. I know. Dude, I yeah. I made my, my comment on or my caption on my thing was, I don't know if my mental needed this storm more or our water at home. Right. Like, no shit. I was like, oh, thank God. Yeah. 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 This clips you posted on Instagram were insane. Yeah, that, it was, you and Andy, that was stupid deep. Like, no bullshit. One of the deepest days of my life. Yeah. Yeah. And it was, it was such a shock because, for one, it's April after months and months of, like, no snow. So that's kind of just in your head but then you we like rolled up on the trail and it's coming over the hood on the trail 
mm-hmm. where I've never seen it before. And it's like, is this real? Like, holy shit. Yeah. yeah. And then all you're thinking is the higher up you go, it's going to get. Yeah. Deeper. And it like did, it, man. Yeah. It was like a, a record setter. I think, I don't know. It was. Yeah. Those are the best days ever when you can gauge it off the parking lot. Yeah. Like somewhere you go a lot and you know, like, oh, and you're okay, like, there's like four inches in the parking lot. It's going to be really good up high. But when yeah. there's like over a foot in the parking lot, yeah. like we might not make it any yeah. higher. And you just look at your buddies and just chuckle. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, dude, this yeah. is going to be sick. You're going to yeah. be stuck. Yeah. <laughs> or it's like so deep that that April storm for us was so deep that it kept guys. It Like if it would have snowed a foot, everything would have been tracked out. But it snowed so much that the majority of guys weren't even going, couldn't go, or, like, yeah. were scared to go get too stuck. Right. And I was just, like, head cut off on my turbo, pinned <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, just out of gas in record time. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I love this snowmobile, too. Because <laughs> when you ride bad snow, you're like, it, it's just so much more labor-intensive. Yeah. Um, you know, regardless of you... The thing about deep snow is you get stuck, and then it's labor-intensive. But when it's not, you're just on a cloud, just Seriously. pinned. Mm-hmm. like. Jumping off of everything. and floating, and it's easy. Yeah. Yeah. There's not really a snowmobile that's designed for shitty snow conditions. No, like, they they do good, like... They get around. For what, but yeah, it's but it's not what they're not the same. designed for. Yeah, they all shine once it's four foot of pow. Yeah, yeah. They, do, they do what they're supposed to. And we didn't. Which, what do you... What do you... Pressing over there? Yeah, that I just, is I just keep thinking about this button. You just drop in and just smack the <laughs> whoop. That's what that April Power Day was like, dude. I was yeah. just foaming at the mouth. <laughs> if you asked me what I thought, that's what I would have yeah. said. <laughs> oh, uh, Jay. Um, I've been meaning to ask you because I, I legitimately forget, and that makes you feel like a bad friend. What are you? What are you doing in the summer? Last summer, I worked uh, with a buddy doing framing. Yeah, his house actually. Um, which was cool because was that that shop house? Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah. Goals, dude. It's sick. And my thought process is, at least learn that to a certain extent to where maybe I could build my own yeah. in the next few years. Because I'm I'm stoked with the house I have now, but you know, obviously, I want to build a big shop and a yeah. something to suit our needs, but. So yeah, that that was my thought was work in the valley too. Didn't have to go to Jackson, which is Brutal. once you've driven to Jackson every day for work. Yeah, I mean the drive's nice, but every day is taxing. Yeah. So working in the valley and learning a new skill was cool. You've done some ranching too, huh? Long time ago. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, remember you went back down south and did a little ranching. Yeah, a little Blaine Matthews rub off on you there. No, no. different. <laughs> like he's a like, cowboy. Like normal ranching. Yeah, you're like, just checking fence. Yeah, changing <laughs> wheel lines and putting up hay. He's like doing surgeries on cows. <laughs> yeah, and dude. Doing some like Yellowstone shit. <laughs> yeah. Not the killing, but <laughs> <Not> just <laughs> killing. There's no like, train station. Why is the killing? There might be in Pinedale. I don't know. <laughs> it is a wild west. Yeah, it there. literally is, especially on a 50,000 acre ranch. Yeah. Uh, we got to go out and spend a day with Blaine on the yeah. ranch. We just need to get him here. Yeah. Seriously. We're going to have to set some guidelines, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be hilarious. Yeah. One of a kind. Gosh. What a roster we a- have. After hanging out with him, I texted my brother, who's like also a cowboy cowboy, and I was like, I just hung out with your hero. Like, if my brother hung out with Blaine, it would be over. You would think he was the coolest guy ever. Yeah. Because his stories, you don't believe him until he's telling them. And then when he tells him, like, for some reason, I believe you. Well, then he's like, and got real. photos yeah. and videos he's to back like, it up. Yeah. He's like, here you go. Check this yeah. out. And we're like, no, 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 you're full. You're not full of it at all. Yeah. No bullshit. Or yeah. No. Yeah. He keeps it real. Dude's a wild animal. You just meet him through racing? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> No, he's my best friend. One yeah. of my best friends. So, um, happy to have met him, and we're gonna do some cool things. The Jay and Blaine show. Yeah, yeah, it's a rip. It's I'm, I keep pushing it on the webisodes. You know, no, it's to, like, working. People it's, it's are working? asking for merch. Yeah, we just yeah, we got to figure out like a pretty like a filmer, I guess. Yeah, otherwise that's what I you guess, guys need. You need somebody. We that's need just like there. a Micah yeah. following us. Yeah. And, yeah. Being a part of it too, but yeah. 
But somebody to film and produce or it. You, for you but you live in freaking Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> nobody lives there. Yeah. Nobody. A lot of people live nobody there. Nobody that matters, though. <laughs> besides <laughs> you. What about my parents? They live there. <laughs> <laughs> Just up and move your whole operation. Get the family over. Uh, I got a room for you. Yeah, I know. It's. I am out there for sure. Yeah, you're like on the beach. He's not even near the mountains. Uh-huh. So disconnected. So disconnected. And I have spent a lot of time in the truck re- this these last couple of years. Right. So yeah, because yeah. you live where nobody else lives. Yeah, yeah, that's your own fault, dude. But when it's good, it's good. <laughs> oh, you're just telling yourself that. No. I'm sure it's good once a yeah, year. Yeah, compared to a lot it, of other places. Oh, for sure, for sure. Well, you know what's funny is there's uh there's a lot of sledders there, but there's no industry. Right. You know. Yeah, we we know. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah, just yeah. making sure that you that's, guys. That's kind of what I meant. Why yeah. when I just checked it out? Yeah, they're yeah. like nothing. Yeah. yeah. No. Um. The funny part is the parking lots are full and stuff, but it's just not, um, yeah, the industry isn't there, which is, I don't know, it's weird. It's funny that there's not more, like, I don't know, there's some shredders, but there's not a ton. And I think it just, because you run out of snow faster or run out of terrain to ride, yeah. you got to get really creative. Like, I got my high, I got my honey holes that I won't show anybody. Mm-hmm. Like, if you rolled in, we'd go ride them. But, like, if you live here, no way I'm taking you in yeah. there. Yeah. Because I need to be able to go in there when it hasn't snowed for two weeks. Right. Right? Like, those are the ones you protect. That's, I got the same stuff back home. Yeah. Jay just has stuff that terrifies me. I had my first ever anxiety attack last winter with him. Yeah. yeah he's got, that's big country. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know I could have one of those. I, I did. know. Yeah. It was weird. It just like, happened. Like, okay? like, it was yeah, like, like Blaine had to come and like talk me down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, You're, yeah. It was just yeah, it was not an ideal situation to be in. It didn't Jade even bat an eye at it? And I'm well, down, I'm like full blown panic attack. Yeah, there was a lot of pre planning that went into and consideration. Still, like definitely exposed to some risk, but I knew we were fine. But it just yeah, yeah. everything started going it's through my head at once. What cliffs, trees, like. Just not yeah. terrain just trap. big. Oh yeah, terrain yeah, trap. Yeah, yeah that we yeah. had to cross it. We did all safely one at a time, everything, and just had I, I don't know what. I think I was thinking about it and screwed yeah, up just, at a dumb spot. Oh yeah, and yeah, was like really exposed, and then all of a sudden my brain started going a million yeah. miles an hour. What could happen? Yeah, and I'm like scared to like make movement. Yeah, I'm thinking, oh, I'm gonna set something off if I step here. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, so all of a sudden I just like locked up. Yeah, but. Well, I'm sorry. It's okay, man. It's good for you. It makes you aware of things. Yeah, it does. And it's a good, like, check system sometimes. Yeah. yeah I just keep it refreshed. Like, sobering yeah. moment here and there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You just, yeah. Level you out. Yeah, for sure. Because it's, it's, it's the real deal out there. Mm-hmm. Like, it doesn't, on so many levels, there's so much going on. And, like, the... You're riding a 600 pound snowmobile full of fuel that has 220 horsepower through the woods at 40 miles an hour, and it's like, and we're like, God, we get lucky so and much. And we're just like, yeah, you, like the re-entries. You think about the re-entries we do now. You just like throw the sled like above your head and just kind of like huck it, and you la- it lands on its side, and you hop back on it and just ride it out like it's no big deal. But like, really, that's a f- that's a lot of mass, just like, whoa. and yeah. you're 20 miles from any civilization, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. And if there's any hint of weather, you're not getting a live flight. You're yeah. not yeah. getting, there's no ambulance that can pull up to you and throw you in the meat wagon. So, no. yeah, you got to keep your stuff together. That's yeah. why you got to keep your, your crews tight, you know? For sure. Like that's and, the tough part. And versed and, you mm-hmm. know, some basic rescue and, yeah. You know, have some, have sat phones and some way to just cover your ass. Yeah. Really. Does anybody ever do bathroom breaks in the middle of podcasts? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah, they did on time. <laughs> no, it's just I kind of got to go too. Let's just pause it. You gonna leave me here by myself? <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, where were we? We had to take a mandatory bathroom break there in the middle of this. Um, I've been pounding water because I'm just getting ready for tonight's dirt bike ride. Getting ready for battle. It's gonna be a lot of sweating. Oh no! Ready, fight. Throw Dude, me into the be... gulag of my first ride. Welcome. Yeah. Yeah. We're going tech, logs, old growth forests, wet, slick, mud, roots. Jay's, Jay's like, oh my gosh. Jay's no, like, I gotta go home. No <laughs> expectations. Um, Are you gonna film any of it? Maybe just for my own. We should pleasure. just, yeah. should we just bring phones and just get f- phone filming with it? Yeah. Yeah. Start doing like some buttery phone edits. Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. Phone edits are banging, dude. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. do more. I get so lazy with the phone because I also feel like I hate being the guy holding his phone out for everything. Yeah, good it's stuff. I it, I always miss the moment with the phone. It's for hard, sure. like to. Yeah. yeah, it sucks. But as of late, I've been just doing pulling it out whenever I think something might happen. Yeah, because yeah. it's easy to delete something. Right, but yeah, we gotta you do that. Catch some gold when you I just when tonight, you film. Yeah. We got just my misfit gang of local guys too. It's yeah, gonna be the buddies. Yeah, we're gonna have a good time. They, Ty, one heard that we were gonna be here, so he's like, "Let's go into the hard things." Like he's like, "Yeah, is he good?" Yeah, yeah, he's a good rider. He's a pretty good rider. Really good hard enduro rider. <laughs> you know, it's funny. <clears throat> so we did a little race, right? And he's like, before the race starts, he's like. Yeah, dude, mud's not, I'm not really a fan of the mud. <laughs> Lap three, it was muddy. I go through the mud pit, and here he is, stuck, pushing his bike backwards. <laughs> and all I thought was him saying how much he hated mud earlier. <laughs> the best part is the, the race is called the muddy butt. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Dude, then it was muddy butt. I have, yeah, it was bad. <sighs> dude, you know what I just learned is there's a gym in this building. Mm-hmm. Really, a guy I just in, haven't told you about it because I no excuses, figured you no. wouldn't hang out with me anymore. Yeah. No, I didn't know there's one in here. That's cool. Yeah, no, it's not. Is it a, like a 509 gym? No, it's just like Same a shared building. commons area. Do you okay. do any gym stuff like off season? Um, Be honest, it's okay. Historically, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> in Star Valley, they're just so crowded yeah. and small and it's like, I don't know. Star it's hard Val- for me to get comfortable. Mm-hmm. Star Valley almost needs like a big one. Like yeah. some, like it's like a it's that big to have something big there now. The one, so there's been one in Afton for years and they just started a new, opened a new branch in Thane, which is close to me. So probably should start going it's there. It's overrated. It's overrated. Well, that's kind of what I thought. Thank you. But you got to get your exercise somehow, right? Well, so yeah. Dirt bikes and yeah. like outdoor exercise. Activities running, yeah, or not, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or yeah. not. Dirt bikes are pretty. Um, Ross makes me feel like just a pile. I know. He, I here's <laughs> the problem now is I'm like addicted to it, what? which is a good place to be. Yeah. And I see that from Andy too. Yeah, Andy Andy's, Thomas. Andy's all about it. Yeah, and from back in the day when I did work out like pretty regularly, I know I felt better just across yeah. the board. So I need to get into that. Doesn't yeah. always help my riding, but no, it's probably we should tone it down the liquor too a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. yeah that's is that you talking no. or the liquor? <laughs> 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 Who's having this conversation here, dude? Rip Jim Leahy. Yeah. <laughs> dude, I'll tell you the problem. This is what I did. This is shout out to my boy Marcus who I train with all the time at Boss and. Like, we have an unbelievable gym. That's also, like, yeah. the facility's unreal. Your it's so sick. sick. And so I started training with uh, Marcus, and now Marcus and I are, like, homies. So I, like, don't want to do it any other way. So I just pay him, like, a, like, pretty expensive, like, a lot of money. But it's, like, working out with a buddy, which is fun. And he, like, I don't have to think about it. I just walk in, and yeah. he's, like, he has goals for me that are terrifying. I'm, like, are you serious? He's, like, yeah, dude, end of summer, you're going to be doing this. And I'm, like, oh, gosh and there's like certain <laughs> like i do these certain things and he has he holds me accountable and it's that's what's cool about it and we're like we'll, we'll hang out outside the gym and stuff and text each other and yeah it's yeah. cool that's the fun part but he kind of tricked me now i like the guy so much that i'm never gonna leave i need yeah. a marcus <laughs> i need a marcus in my life i'm looking for a wife <laughs> <laughs> that's been ross's catchphrase all week yeah, no, especially after we talked about your dry spell. <laughs> he's taking wife applications, not girlfriend, just straight to wife. Ladies. He's looking for a wife. He's a good dude. <laughs> you got it's a lot been, to offer. Yeah. I do. Yeah, it's you been do. a it's been a lot of uh, it's been. He's a, just too damn picky. Very picky. That's yeah. the problem. Yeah. You got to compromise, Ross. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You're young though. Um, don't go yeah. searching for it every time you do that. Yeah, don't go chasing end. waterfalls. Yeah. Don't, yeah. don't go chasing <laughs> waterfalls. <laughs> and then it's, this is how it always happens. As soon as you're not looking for it, then it happens. And then you're like, ah, oh, here we go. Yeah. yeah. 
And then you're stuck in a four year relationship that you hate. Yeah. yeah. Classic <laughs> Ross. Classic <laughs> Ross. Just dips off the face of the earth. Yeah. Disappears. Gone. Yeah, that's bad. You can't do that though. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. Relationships, yeah. man. That's just like uh, we're tough to deal with yeah. too. Oh yeah. Our well, sc- yeah. yeah. Our schedules. Yeah. You especially. I can't believe girls put up with you. <laughs> yeah. Not like anything against you, but your work schedule is. It's so sporadic Hardcore. too, yeah. and it's long. Yeah, it's the like at least you with your racing, you have set dates already. Yeah, like and she can come with. Yeah. yeah, mine's like depending on right. weather. It'd be like, hey, I'm going to Alaska. Yeah, for three days weeks. before find yeah. out. It's tough. It's yeah. a tough schedule. Yeah, and you have you home base kind of your like race racing program out of your house and like your your garage, so yeah. you can like kind of. It's a little bit better. You can yeah. like men or like meld the at home life with the yeah. racing, something yeah. or like the sledding. The good balance. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. think so. Jordy, is it good? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a caller. It's Jordy. <laughs> she, she says we're <laughs> over. <laughs> Calling in. <laughs> Shit. She doesn't even know where you are. <laughs> yeah. You're at work right now. Nine hours north. Yeah. Yeah. Nine hours away. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's like that meme. I went to India, <laughs> yeah. not Indiana. <laughs> Can you imagine not realizing that until you're halfway there? I could see that happening. Yeah. Yeah. I know. A few I've had people. some travel schedules that are just are a blur. You're, yeah. You're confused on time zones and you yeah. just run to connections and. Right. Checking yeah. in, this and that. Yeah. Paper tickets or I don't know. Yeah. Have you been overseas? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> No, really? I haven't. I think that's something you remember. Does Hawaii count? No, <laughs> I mean it's technically over a sea, I guess. Yeah, so or an ocean, but like no Europe. No, <clears throat> no, I need to though. I there's a lot of places I'd love to go, yeah. obviously. But mm-hmm. actually, on that note, I think uh, Jeremy Mercier, Tony Jenkins, and I are going to go to Chile in oh, August. Yeah? Nice. I think, yeah. That's on my bucket list for sure. Wow, Tony, thanks for the call. Well, you ride Lynx, so yeah, different. I just different. do my own thing. No. Yeah, you're different program, dog. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we should just that will be super trip, fun. Though. You will. You've done it, yeah, obviously yeah, with Brent. Yeah. yeah, I tried. I almost went last year again. So I'm not opposed. I w- I will go back for sure. Yeah. So you it's should come tough with. to get there. Have you been? Just no, I mean, just like the logistics, I feel like you've done it enough. Yeah, it's the <clears> actually like the travel isn't bad. Yeah. And there's a good, in, like I have with Sled Chili, a good in and infrastructure. Like he can help with whatever. As long as you get the sled shipped and stuff. It's, That's the part though. That's yeah, someone. But if you don't, if you don't have the connections, yeah. 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 Luckily now I know who I can call and they can help. So. Let's just all go. All yeah. right. Together. Together. One big Together. happy family. I got to send a sled. Are you sending a sled down? No, they have them. They have... It's not sled chili. It's... It's uh, Andy... Some, Andy, Andy, I think. Yeah, you're you're going to be north, like, in the taller peaks uh, with, like, Reggie. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> Stellar. Oh, really? Reggie Cri- Cri- Christ? Cri- yeah, Chris? Yeah, Reggie Chris. Yeah. That's, um, that's Tony's, like, guy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. With Stellar uh, Adventure. Media? Yeah, Stellar, Stellar Media. Media. I don't know. I just work here. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're, gonna, f- we're gonna be like that guy. I went to Cancun instead of Chile. Yeah, <laughs> we're on the beach. <laughs> Jay just brought like all his snow gear, and he's just like, I wearing needed. My, I had to go buy shorts. Wearing my thermals, yeah. <laughs> face layers. Ross and I were talking about this, and are you super bad at taking actual vacations? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why there's a mental block on that. I think because everything we do, not everything, but a lot of what we do is super fun. So it's like a vacation. Yeah. I think also you're gone so much in the winter yeah. that everything at home gets put in the back burner. Yeah. So like summer is like vacation. Like hurry and catch up on to all like the shit you do just stuff set at aside. home. Yeah. 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 And then all of a sudden it's like heydays in September. And yeah. Yeah. I need to, we need to take a damn vacation. I know. Group vacation. Like a legitimate I vacation. Yeah. I wouldn't know what to do with like, myself. Right? I know. Like, you got to go like surf or like do like, yeah. I at least have to have something there. Something physical. Yeah. yeah. Some, like I'm so big into exploration. So yeah. something yeah. where you could like go see. 
like old or ruins history, or yeah. history, yeah, some historical, yeah. Some, Dude, somewhere of mimosas too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. probably be drinking a lot. <laughs> what I want to do is I want to do- go to Costa Rica Unlimited. That's that moto place in Costa Rica that has like you just fly in, they got the bikes, and you go and you can ride like gnarly single track and yeah. stuff. And it has they have it's like a full resort too, like tropical. Yeah, yeah. no, like on Didn't, like, like you rainforest. Can yeah, like, Ooh, that sounds sick. Here's yeah. the problem, though. This is the the only problem is their their best time to go is like December, January mm. for most yeah, stuff. So we're, we're never going. No, yeah. so we're never going. But shout out to Costa Rica Unlimited. I see you guys out there. You guys are killing it, <laughs> and I want to come hang out really badly. I might do that by myself. They don't even care. Just roll up. <laughs> I'm here to destroy these single track trails. <laughs> Your OEM sponsors wondering where the heck you are for the shoot. <laughs> yeah, I'm supposed to be like at this like big links thing. He's like, Ross is in Costa Rica riding a motorcycle. <laughs> He's on vacation. Yeah. Ever heard of it? Ever heard of it? <laughs> Quit calling me. I'm on vacation. <laughs> yeah, let's take links some vacation, like, boys. Where are you? <laughs> yeah, <they're>... Where are you? <laughs> we need you. Yeah. <laughs> You're fired. You weren't supposed to change that flight. <laughs> <laughs> used your credit that we paid yeah, for they book the flight for me and i change it to costa rica <laughs> upgrade to first class yeah. and then send them a bill yeah oh, no. man. just kidding pascal we would never do that <laughs> i've never done that not even once yeah i need to do I, the, and then i was talking about vacation i'm like oh i'm gonna come down visit you guys <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like i'm gonna go to wyoming in the summertime and that'll be my vacation, which is still like... Which, it would be cool. We'd yeah. all be doing the same stuff, but I'm never there in the summer. I know. All these places, I'm like, I gotta go in the summer. It's beautiful. Yeah. I just yeah. know what it looks like with the landscape covered in snow. That's how I feel about BC. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that'd be a fun summer trip. Yeah. There's some good moto up there, too. For sure. Gotta have that adrenal kind of, like, fix and put, be able to push yourself in a certain way. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, throttle therapy, that term... Rings true. Like, yeah, for sure. legit. Yeah. yeah. And Jay's been working on his backflip, so. Yeah. yeah. Look Don't out. expect one anytime soon. <laughs> Still got some work to do. But. Remember when you tried the barrel roll? Yeah. That footage that was, was like never shown. Super half-assed. Not, yeah. not the right setup, obviously. And what a confusing It was just rotation. you, me, and Trent. Yeah. <laughs> In the middle and, of the Alaskan and, backcountry. Yeah, I'm like, mm, probably shouldn't. <laughs> Time and a place. Yeah. Time and a place. There, yeah, I don't get the rotation. I shot Andreas in volume 14 yeah, up in Revy when he did the barrel roll. And watching the, the just trial and error on it, and the rotation, it, he didn't even like build the lip off camber. It was relatively straight. straight. And the way he tucked and worked the brake and the throttle, it still made no sense to me. Yeah, And I got probably, I think it took him like 15 tries and land it. And by the end of it, the, the sled was so smashed. And it was a it was a sled they had flown in for him or something. And yeah, it was like a black and yellow Lynx. Yeah. yeah, and he had the whole hood was gone, and he was putting the pieces in the little glove box in the top and breaking them smaller to get them in there, so he wouldn't leave any piece in the back country. Uh-huh. And he landed it, but if you yeah. look at the footage, the sled's mangled. Yeah, there's no headlight left. Like yeah. we were zip tying stuff together for each shot, but that rotation. Dude, wild. Super hard. That's partially why I haven't tried it again, is I still don't fully understand yeah. it. And I'd rather have someone like him there or Turcotte or, you know, somebody that can kind of walk me through it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean. How many guys have done it? That Adam kid in Sweden, that Arty Cat rider? Uh, what? Thal- I don't know how to say his last no, name. No, but like what? Barrel roll. Oh. Oh, a barrel roll. Yeah. Barrel roll. I mean, I've really, I've really only seen Bergmark. Like, yeah. sorry, that's what I've been talking about this whole time. Uh, it's a barrel roll. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah no, 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 yeah. I kind of. We're just talking about, like flips and stuff. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think there's only been two that I know of. I've only seen Andreas. I've only seen Andreas do it. That but Adam kid, uh, Sweden did it. Yeah, Swedes are built there. He did it on a short yeah. track, like a snow cross slide, mm-hmm. which is yeah. wide. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> built different. Built know. different, dude. It's crazy. Part of me is like, I want to do that, and I kind of feel an obligation as an athlete to yeah. like get to that level. But part of me is like, is it worth it? Yeah, yeah. That's something that has to be a personal goal, and not. It's a tough pressured. one to throw away too when it's going wrong, right? Especially like being discombobulated in the air. <laughs> like if you don't know 
the exact movements mm-hmm. to do, you can get lost real quick and it's, end up under your sled. And and it seems like the place it stalls the most is right directly on top yeah. of you, upside down. The rotation just stops. Yeah. And there's a lot of extruding hard parts on a snowmobile. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like Canada's the place, but yeah. I don't understand how the healthcare system works there. If right. I do get yeah. injured, <laughs> apparently it's pretty good. I've heard <laughs> I've heard bad things yeah. from Canadians. So as an American being up there and getting hurt, it's like, are you just stuck in Canada? They d- deport you just, just like, like you're broken. You're go stitched away. together, and they send you to the border. Slap yeah. a bandaid on yeah. you. Yeah. Just put you in a gurney and just roll you through border yeah. control. I'm like, good luck. And then they question you at the border. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing here? Yeah, the border agent. Where like, do you work? Yeah. yeah. He's like, we're going to have to dismantle your gurney. <laughs> yeah. We're going to have to search you. Yeah. Out of the border. It's yeah. a scary place. It's yeah. a scary place. Whether you're a convict or, <laughs> or not. Or a law abiding citizen. Yeah. It is. So yeah, you're yeah. all on an equal playing field once you get to the border. You lose yeah. all your rights. Yeah, it's hilarious. Gosh. It was funny. My first, not a bad run-in, but like one one time they were questioning me pretty hard. They thought I was working up there. And I was there for hours, hours and hours. And he goes, let me see your phone. And I'm like, I'm no lawyer, but this doesn't <laughs> seem right. Yeah. <laughs> But I didn't question it, so I gave it to him. And I just made a post on Instagram, like, right before. And it was just blowing up with, like, notifications and likes. And he's, like, getting all frustrated. <laughs> yeah. and then he's, like, oh, you're popular, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> you're, like, I'm kind of a big deal. Yeah. No, I didn't yeah. say that. But uh, <laughs> eventually they let me go. They found my tax return documents in my truck. I don't know why I still have them. <laughs> But that saved my ass. They're like, oh, he's got a really? job. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's funny. They were dude. convinced that I was working up there. Just in the snowmobile industry or just uh, who knows specifically what? Specifically guiding for Cooster. Oh, because oh, you're yeah. riding out of there. Yeah. yeah. But <clears throat> it was like, I I don't know the terrain. I'm not going to go guide. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm going to get guided. Yeah. Essentially. That's the funny part is, is you can, like, I've been up there for work. Right. So to try to go now for out with not working as a stone builder yeah, is like, that's the scary you. part. They're yeah. like, are you really? Yeah. 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 The funniest thing is we're all just so innocent. We're just like, we just want to go ride. No, literally. Bills. And I've said yeah. that for yeah. almost every time. I'm like, I just want to go ride up there, man. You guys yeah. got it yeah. going on. We're just going to pump some money in the economy right. and then just carry on. And yeah. I get it. They got a job to do, but it is like, I will be doing everything by the book and be like, scared shitless when I pull up to the border. For sure. I'm like, I look suspicious for no yeah. reason. And then you choose your words differently just because yeah. you like overthink it. Yeah. And it's like, oh, I should have just not said that. I like can't make eye contact. I know. I'm always looking up and then back down and back up and back yeah, down. Yeah, what do I do with my hands? Yeah. <laughs> like, is it weird to touch things? <laughs> yeah. And then the whole conspiracy of they have like microphones. Before. Before. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah like through they're listening through your car yeah and, dude yeah. i wouldn't put it past it's crazy yeah the <sighs> the like it wasn't bad but the i went up there in december of 20 oh yeah you got to tell this story yeah so this was before links came right like nobody knew what was going on i had like just signed the contract had never even ridden the snowmobile it was just like making the leap so they want me to ride the sled we go up to f- shoot to film it and um, I fly in and I have to strict quarantine for 14 days. I had a 56 page document <sighs> describing who I was, what I did. It had like all of my like social media metrics on it because they were proving to the border that I was essential, essential for this project for then wow. this yeah. corporation to make money. Right. Like, and I had, a, I had to get a visa and everything. And I had a lawyer's like cell phone number on like, yeah. speed, speed dial. dial. Yeah. Dang. Did you and get over fine? Yeah, I actually did get over fine. It was like pretty cuz it was only workers going through. Like yeah. it was it was so if you had your stuff you were fine, but it was definitely like nerve-wracking and then <clears throat> just got picked up uh at the airport by yeah. a guy and he drove me to a condo and I chilled in a condo for 2 weeks with Colton. And uh some funny stories dude, out of that one. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Colton. And the polar opposites between you two like <laughs> comes to mind is you'll be working out 
like daily, and yeah. he'll be like making fun of you on the couch drinking Coors Light. Yeah, he had like a Coors Light and an Otter Pop. Yeah. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, he's like, there's two different kind of athletes out there, and he he's drinking a Coors Light, and then he pans to me, and I'm on the patio like jump roping. <laughs> Thank God I found like in that condo, I found like some kettlebells and stuff, and there was an outside patio, and I could at least like move around a little bit and stuff. But yeah. 14 yeah, days. Yeah, it was That's strict gnarly. 14 days. It's And then we rode the sled for two and then flew home. Like, that was 16 it. 16 day commitment for yep, that. Yep, for two two <sighs> days on the sled. It was crazy. The funniest part about going to the border is the instant, like, sense of relief for oh, doing man. nothing wrong. Yeah, right, you're right. <laughs> for crossing like, I a, made a it, line, and you're, yeah. you have no reason not to make it. Yeah, but it's you, like... It's like Christmas. Yeah. And then you go back and you got to go through it all over again. Yeah. The U.S. side's a lot easier, I feel like. I don't know. I've had, I've had bad run-ins coming yeah. back, too. I got tore apart once because I... In, you know where you can put your sunglasses on yeah. the top of your truck there in the little tray? I had like a loose nine mil round. Oh, sitting, you're done. Sitting, yeah. sitting under Terrorist. my sunglasses. Get out. Yeah. <clears throat> Just didn't see it there. It was under my sunglasses, you know. And they're standing up there, you know, and they look down. They see it. Yeah. shred the whole truck apart oh, dude. and i understood i'm like i get it whatever but yeah. the whole time i'm like am i gonna be like on a no fly list now right <laughs> am flag. i banned from canada oh that's a nightmare dude yeah because that happens like they yeah. can do that yeah. mm-hmm. that would be one of the worst things i can think of honestly yeah i love that place yeah and a lot of the people so well then you flip the script and i just roll up the guy at a sled deck and I had an ammo can with tire chains in it. Like that's where I put my tow truck. Mm. Yeah. I had a 50, like a literally artillery, like <laughs> big 50 cal ammo can right under my sled deck. And I always, I always, that's like how I carry stuff. And the border agent walks behind my truck, opens my tailgate, goes, what's in the ammo can? I go tire chains. And he goes, cool. Poof, yeah. shit slams yeah. it. And he's like, see ya. Yeah. I'm it, like, and it's like midnight at like a border where nobody's there. Like, right, super suspicious. Yeah, it just doesn't even, yeah. So yeah. it's like. It depends on the agent. It does. For sure. Yeah, they'll get you though. My yeah. last go around in December, uh, Tony Jenkins and I went up to ride. And luckily we got one of the coolest border agents that I've ever talked to. And we hand him our passports. He looks and goes. Oh, I've I've seen you in five oh nine films. No he was kidding. A, yeah, oh he my was gosh. a sledder. That's and, rad. Yeah, he recognized uh, both of us, and from there we were golden. Like, yeah, he's just like you guys got your shit together. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Have a good trip. Yeah, it's it's uh, goes one of two ways: either yeah. smooth sailing, or you're there for the inevitable future. Yeah. Like, yeah. So one time uh, at band camp. At one time at band camp, it was crazy. We weren't to Chile with Chris and I, like this is, and Phil Wybar was with us. It was us three, I think, flying across together. We brought a whole motor oh. in a checked bag. No way. Yeah, we checked an entire long block motor. Like torn apart into no. various bags? The whole thing. Assembled? Yeah. Drop in. Wow. There was, it was lit- there was literally like fuel leaking out of the bag. <laughs> That's the biggest no-no. Dude, it was like, <laughs> no, it's like, uh... It's like there equivalent wasn't, to just bringing a bomb. Oil. There wasn't fuel. It was just like greasy and oily yeah. and stuff. We did. A, we brought a crankshaft across one time, <laughs> like in a check bag. They didn't like the crankshaft either. They couldn't figure out what it was. <laughs> yeah. The motor. Yeah. How we got the mo- <laughs> like an eighty pound checked motor was crazy. Can I ask why? We had to put it one in a sled that Chris had sent down there. He uh, sent a blown up sled down. There? <laughs> no, like because you know those sleds got ran in. Till they were done because it's so hard to get parts yeah, and stuff. Yeah, so yeah. I can't remember like why we brought a motor, but we needed to rebuild a sled or something. And uh, yeah, we, it was like 88 pounds, the bag. And it, all it had was, was a that motor in it. cost to check? I had a couple hundred bucks to check, yeah. but it was more so like, is it going to make it through or not? Right. And it was just, yeah. It, Made it though. Somehow got it through. Wow. I can't believe it. No damage? No damage, yeah. Because you, you kind of like... You are actually, when you fly into Santiago, you collect your bag and you watch them put it through. So you actually have, like, you can get your say. It's not like like Vancouver or whatever. Like, you don't even see your bag. And it's just like, if they have any question, it's yeah. it's up to their judgment. There, you have a little bit. Well, Chris goes through and he has, like, the crankshaft. I, this one, he had the crankshaft. He goes through with the crankshaft. They rip his bag apart. They're like, what is this thing? They, they have no idea what it is. <laughs> Phil goes 
through. He has like a huge drone, a red. He's got like 60 grand in camera gear. They're instantly like lighting him up too, right? There's a huge thing. And then I go through and I just like freaking cruise through. I'm like, what's up, boys? Later. Hope, hope to see you down there. They're like, oh, yeah. little shit. Yeah, they're like, <laughs> uh, you know. Like, Why didn't we give Ross a yeah. gift? And I'm surprised, yeah. honestly, they didn't because like that's something that Chris would love to do that to me. Yeah. Just like, good luck, Ross. It'd be he funny. Just, I had Go a similar on. thing once. I had to, it was springtime up in Revelstoke and timber sled, the snow bikes are made just like an hour north of here, yeah. like their headquarters. And I know those guys pretty well. And one of them said, Hey, we have some demo sleds at like Interspace Water Sports. It's a dealer in uh, Kelowna. He said, Could you grab them and bring back two demo bikes? You're like, sure. I was oh like, boy. Is it get any paperwork for it? He goes, No, but we'll try to email something over. I'm like, All <sighs> right. So I go over the border of one sled, come back a week later with two snow bikes I didn't have. Yeah, and, I'm like, and no uh, papers. Yeah, I'm like, oh, gosh. I always go through the same border crossing. There's always the same gal working there. I pull up, and this new guy comes out that I've never seen. I'm like, crap. Like, my life is over. And so every time you go through, like they, they definitely have like photos of your truck, right? They run your plate, and they add photos when you go in, photos when you come back. So, yeah. Yeah, like they know, right? Yeah. And here I am with these two bikes that I did not come over with. And they're like, did you buy these up here? Yada, yada. And I'm like, no, I'm trying to explain it. And somebody had sent me an email just before, but I didn't have any service, so I couldn't download the attachment. And so I'm like, show them, like, this is from somebody at Timbersled, you know, like, just official, I've attached the document, but you couldn't physically read the document. It's your Wi-Fi password. Yeah. <laughs> and... All of a sudden, he's like starting to tear the truck apart. The gal comes around the corner, and I see her, and she knows what I do. And you're like, yeah. you have one tear going out. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, help. And she knows my program, like knows what I do, who yeah. I work for. And she goes, David, oh, how you doing? I'm like, good. He's, he's good to go. And the saving grace was, A, her, you know, her trust in knowing me. But B, I didn't even notice it. On the forks, there was Idaho registration on them. Oh, so nice. like they had been in the States already. They'd been registered. And they have been in the States. They didn't come from Canada and they let me through, but I'm sitting there, no cell service thinking, yeah. Hey guys, sorry. Your, your bikes are stuck at the border. Figure it out. But yeah, good luck. See you <laughs> dodgeable. And again yeah. on that one. Yeah. You got to have everything checked out at the border. Yeah, yeah. It's tough. Understatement. Cause you don't know it's a wild West in there. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. Stressful place. You ever watch the CBP shows or what is it like to catch a? I watched to catch a smuggler a lot. Yeah, those yeah. kind of shows. I love that the places people are hiding stuff and how smart the border patrol is. Yeah, they've, they've seen it all. They've seen yeah. it all. They're not yeah. dumb. Yeah, I can't get over how well trained the dogs are. I know. Yeah, dogs are crazy. I can't even get my dog to sit. <laughs> Dude, you emotional huskies. Emotional huskies. You know what gets me just as bad as the border is the dog at the airport. Yeah, I know I'm good, but I'm like, what if somebody put something in my back pocket, yeah. dude? That's terrible. Like, this dog is going to rip my face off. What's going to happen? It's the same concept as driving the speed limit and having a cop behind oh, you. Oh, dude. Just stress for no reason. Yeah. No reason at all. Yeah. Authority stresses me out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the man. Yeah. I already got pulled over in my Ranger. <laughs> I did, too, the other day. Because I guess I'm used to just, like, dri right, driving my truck, and he could see through my back window. And my seatbelt, it's an 88. So the seatbelt doesn't really work that well. Like, <laughs> And I was literally just going like five minutes just cruising. And I didn't have my seatbelt on him. No, I'm sorry. It's really bad. And uh, he pulls me over and he goes, you know, he's like, I pulled you over because you're not wearing nothing. I'm like, oh, I'm like, well, you know, it doesn't really work. And I grab it because it won't lock. And I just go, <laughs> and I just shake it a bunch and it never locks. And he goes, all right, well, try to get that fixed. And he knew right where I lived too because he saw my address. So he's like, "You're just good. You're just going to your house." So. Yeah, but yeah, it was terrifying. And I, he pulls me over. I'm like, "What is going? Are you pulling me over in the Ranger?" Yeah, I can't go over the speed limit in this. Yeah, thing. <laughs> barely go the speed limit. Yeah, I'm like, was this thing stolen? What happened? You're like, I'm pedaling as fast as I can yeah, go. <laughs> All 2.9 <laughs> liters is just <laughs> ripping <Yeah. laughs> to the floor. Go, go, go. Feeding up. Yeah. Oh, go. speaking of liters, that show to catch a smuggler. Yeah, I was watching one and. I've watched it so much now that you like figure out every single method of people try to smuggle stuff. Great. And how the border patrol knows this one dude had, gosh, what was it? It was automotive, like soap, cleaning soap. 
in five gallon jugs in the semi. And half the time the semi drivers don't even know that right. the, the truck is like hot. Yeah. And these poor dudes are just getting like their life changed, right? Yeah. And they suspected something. I think it was a classic. It went to this destination, which is known for drug smuggling. Triggered and all this. something, yeah. yeah. And it was here for X amount of hours, so they, they checked it. And uh, they just, the dog hit on one of the, the five-gallon jugs of soap. Anyways, they test it, and the soap was like liquid meth. And it was twenty six million dollars worth wow. of math. Gosh. Their biggest like bust in like the last five years. Liquid form. Some wow. breaking bad stuff. Right? right there. Twenty six million. Just when they think they figured out a new method, got them. Pause. Not. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. That's crazy. Maybe back in the day you would have been able to, you know, make it as a drug dealer or smuggler, but today. Yeah. I just don't, odds are against you. Yeah. yeah. There's way better it. ways to make money. No. Get a normal job, man. Get a <laughs> job. That that one, that Tom Cruise movie, where he, have you guys seen that where he flies them? The one's from like yeah, Cuba own, to Miami yeah. or he, something he's like that. He's running, he's running guns and it, it's at all the true same story time, too. It's based right. on true story. He's insane. It's crazy. Yeah. He's got stuff buried under the house. Yeah. It's like, like dude, mm. the stress that guy right. was had to be under, like. You're getting eventually. You're gonna get what's coming to you there when you're yeah. f- dealing with those crazy. Didn't he people. like a couple hundred million dollars in cash? Something yeah, like just buried. He was just buried. He was, he didn't he, know what to wasn't do. he like Pablo's main? Yeah, I think guy, so. Right in the infancy when yeah. they w- were yeah. really like, he was like ex-military too, wasn't he or something? Yeah, Air he was Force? a very seal. He, he, yeah. yeah, he was flying for the CIA and right. Yeah. So he's flying guns down there and then bringing back cocaine. Yeah, Jamie, we we fact check this. Yeah, <laughs> somebody Google it. Go go go! I remember this. There's a scene in there where he was overloaded in the plane. Yeah, like, trying yeah. to take off in like this sketchy third world country runway yeah, like, in the back. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and he Barely just like, clears the trees. Yeah, he's like yeah. ripping trees off and yeah. arguing with like Pablo directly on taking some weight out. Yeah. And he's like, "No, you fly now." Yeah. I think you listen to him. Yeah. yeah. You're like, okay, hopefully. I'm, he's, you're like, oh, either I fly out of here and live, he kills me and I die here, or I crash and die here. So yeah. we're going to try to fly out of here. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think our final takeaway is we need to take a vacation. <laughs> to Columbia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take a vacation. It was yeah. fun, boys. I'm starving. It's time for some lunch. You getting hangry? In a little bit. I'm getting a little moody here. I need to eat. But, uh, you know, like, comment. Subscribe. Share, subscribe, subscribe. All of the above. Buy our merch. We appreciate you listening. If you're on YouTube, appreciate you for watching. Just yeah. Kick it in the comments, you know. Just give give each other some love. Make friends, you know. Mm-hmm. Share your Border Patrol stories for us. Yeah, seriously. And, I want to hear uh, some because I feel like this could be a reoccurring topic. Yeah. Sure. We could hear some gnarly ones from yeah. some people. Leave yeah. your Border Patrol story in the comments. Yeah. So. And any other constructive criticism, right? Like on <laughs> yeah. what we could. We're an open book. Yeah, we're an open we book. Talk we're about. just getting going here, boys. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we'll see you in the next one. Au revoir. Peace.